there. So a couple of comments that I had on a couple of different videos uh, where I've had people who watch my channel mention to me that they were having issues with their, their hair and wanted some help. And so I listed off a lot of different possibilities that it could be. And on both of them, I did also list that there could be something internal and mentioned that thyroid really messes with the hair and they both confirmed that they do have thyroid issues. So I thought it would be a really good time to go ahead and just make this video about thyroid disease and your hair. So if you're new here, hi, my name is Michelle. I'm a licensed hairstylist with over 20 years of experience. And on this channel, I use those years of experience to help you have healthy, happy hair. So the first thing I wanna start off with is a disclaimer. I am not a doctor and I cannot diagnose a thyroid disease or disorder. Uh, you do need to go to a doctor and have blood work in order to get diagnosed. This is not a video that is intended in any way, shape or form to diagnose any kind of a medical problem. This is just to help you become aware that maybe something that you might be struggling with could potentially be because of thyroid disease and maybe it is time to head to the doctor to find out. Let's start with the types of thyroidism and how they affect the hair. So you have hyperthyroidism and when you have that one your hair might become finer and more brittle. If you have hypothyroidism your hair could become coarser and it could become really rough and wiry and dry and basically a lot of the things that are attributed to gray hair is what you will find with thyroid issues when you on your hair when you have thyroid issues which is why in my myths about gray hair video, I did mention that gray hair is not automatically wiry and maybe it's medical conditions that might be causing it and the gray hair and the medical condition are just happening concurrently and that's what the issue is. So if you're interested in that video, I will go ahead and put a card up here so you can check that one out. But in this one, I'm going to be strictly focusing on hyper and hypothyroidism and aside from the texture changes that both can cause to your hair, both can also lead to hair loss. So, and whatever other issues that it can cause in your body for sure. So it is definitely something that you're gonna wanna go in and get checked out. But if you've been experiencing, you know, dry, brittle hair, hair that feels like it has actually hard water uh, mineral buildup on it, um, it's stringy, it's not clumping, it's not curling properly, maybe you've lost your curl or it's gotten tighter, or like I said, with the wiry and the dry, or it feels really, really rough. And it's a very distinct texture. I noticed it on, because clients tell their hairdressers literally everything. They like, we know their medical history half the time. We know where basically all the bodies are buried. Um, it's amazing what people will tell their hairdressers. I knew of at least two clients that had hypothyroidism and both of them had the same texture hair. At first I thought it was just kind of a coincidence that they both happened to have the same texture hair. And then another person had that texture of hair. They had uh, hypothyroidism and then another. So I had a handful of clients that had hypothyroidism and had that same texture of hair. And that is what I mostly have experience with hands-on with that hair texture is the hypothyroidism. I don't know. I think I had only one client that had hyperthyroidism and it definitely was a different texture than the hypo. So that's the one that I know the most. And as I said, I had a handful of clients with this. And then I had another client whose regular texture of her hair was fine. And she had been my client for, you know, since the beginning of the, my career until pretty much right up to the end of it. I had been doing her hair for about 10 plus years at this point when she came in for her appointment and she's a regular every six weeks on the dot coming in to get her hair done. And I all of a sudden noticed when she came in for one of her appointments, her hair was a tad bit thinner. It was barely perceptible, but I did notice it a little bit. 
And then the other thing that I noticed is that I started feeling uh, that texture. And like I said, it's really distinct and it's hard for me to describe, but it is different than rough because of damaged hair or the like hard water mineral buildup. Like it'll mimic those things, but it feels definitely different and it's very distinctive. And so I started feeling that on her hair and because she had been a client of mine for so long, I said, you know, I apologize. I don't mean to sound nosy or, you know, stick my nose in it. And you can, you can not answer this if you don't want to, but do you have hypothyroidism? And she kind of looked at me and she's like, no, why? And so I went, I started to explain what I was noticing with her hair and how it was similar to my other clients who had a known thyroid condition. And she's like, oh, she goes, you know, I was thinking my hair felt a lot thinner, but I thought it was parent, just me being paranoid because it wasn't a lot, like, but it seemed a little bit thinner. So her next appointment, six weeks later, she comes in and she's thanking me because she went to the doctor she got some blood work done and she was diagnosed with hypothyroidism. So for me, when she was diagnosed and I had all those people with all of the hair feeling the same way, that it definitely made that connection for me. And I do believe that it is now an actual connection. It might have been back then. I, you know, we didn't have as easy access to Google and everything out on the internet as what you do now back when this happened. And I mean, it was there, but not just like it is today, because this was years ago. But I do believe that it is now, that it is and probably has been a confirmed connection. But I also don't think it's one that a lot of doctors discuss with their patients. And I'm not gonna say across the board that doctors do not discuss this with their patients, because I don't have privy to those conversations. But just the fact that people were unaware of it back then throughout my career behind the chair and that people are uh, unaware of it even today that maybe it's something that's not being discussed so i just wanted to put this out there just to kind of help people if you are experiencing some problems with your hair you're noticing some big texture changes you're having brittle hair fine hair or if it's coarse or it's wiry or really dry or stringy and nothing you do seems to be working. So you've tried clarifying, you've tried deep conditioning, you've tried protein treatments, you've switched products, you've tried literally everything that you can think of under the sun and nothing is seeming to work whatsoever. There is a very good chance that it might be your thyroid or something else that's medical. At the very least, it's, it may warrant a trip to the doctor because it doesn't hurt to go in and get blood tests done just to be sure but waiting is probably not the best idea so that it could be because then you're not getting treated for something that you could be getting treated for so this is mostly just to put it out there that if you have tried absolutely everything and you are still noticing these issues with your hair then you may want to go to a doctor or if you have been diagnosed with a thyroid issue and you've been noticing changes in your hair and you're not sure what it is, chances are really good that that's what's causing it is the thyroid issue. Now, that doesn't mean that's the only thing that can affect your hair because a lot of other things do. And I can't, like I said, I can't diagnose and it does have a very distinct feel, so when I feel it, I definitely know it. However, that is not an accurate way to diagnose. It's just something that I have noticed over years of working with people's hair. So it's not something that I'm going to be able to answer for you if you ask me in the comments down below, because I am not a doctor and I cannot tell you if that is what the problem is, but I can give you suggestions for what something might be and what you might wanna try. And if all else fails, there's always, it's just always a really good idea to head to the doctor to make sure that there's nothing going on internally that might be affecting your hair because literally everything that's going on in your body comes out in your hair. So if it's something that you can't change externally, there's a good chance that something is happening internally 
to change your hair. So hopefully this video helped clear some things up for you or help some of you out there who might be struggling with this, maybe gave you an aha moment. And hopefully if uh, you are struggling with this, that maybe it inspired you to head to the doctor, that would be wonderful as well. And that would mean that I have accomplished my goal, that I have helped somebody out there uh, get some understanding about their hair and potentially take care of a medical problem. If you like this video, please go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. If you'd like to see more content like this, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell while you're at it. And if there's anything that you'd like to see or you have any questions or comments, please leave those down below in my comment section. And as always, thank you for watching.